Well, I got the big tractor back. Finally got it fixed. End up being a shaft that goes into the pressure plate. Stripped all the splines right out of the pressure plate on the tractor. And that's what drives back in further to start driving the pumps to give it all the hydraulic pressure. So. So it wasn't too bad fix. I mean, the biggest problem is you gotta split the tractor down. And the guy that does the work for me, that's more his specialty in these international tractors. So it's not a big deal for him. But it's a uh, 986 International, four post cab. That uh, whoever had the tractor before me added a turbo to it. So it makes about the horsepower, I think, of a 1486. But yeah, I got the canvas doors that go on there. There's another. I don't know if I could get the rest of the kit or not. I didn't have it when I got it, but it's got these clips up here. It'll show up there. And these pan the panels sit in here, and you can just clamp them, snap them onto it. And it's got them all the way around here. Probably ain't gonna show up. Put enough light in here. Uh, yeah, I put enough money in this tractor in the last couple of years. I thought it was just a couple of years ago, but Joe told me it was six years ago we put the clutch in it. We've actually updated this to the clutch of a 1486. So the 986 has a 12 inch clutch, and the 1486 has a 14 inch clutch. So we updated. To the bigger clutches last time. So, I don't know all the little interest in details, but for the most part, this is a comparable to a 1486 now, horsepower wise. You know, I've, re I've rebuilt the PTO, put the heavier clutch packs into it. And that's something that these tractors should have nowadays. That is nice, having both PTOs right there ready to go. Don't have to swap nothing around comes in nice like I said I chop with this tractor my choppers a thousand rpm but the wagons are 540 and if I have to haul a wagon up with this tractor shafts right there but if I put that forward on the chopper I gotta swap shafts and then I don't have the right shaft to unload wagons if I needed to but and then like I say two years ago we overhauled the motor I've talked about dabs all new piston sleeves he had the head checked, we ended up turning the crank, rebuild injectors, new water pump. I just went today, I got got the oil filters. It's only been about 70 hours, I think, since I changed the oil, but this is the first oil change after the break-in oil. So it's only got about 150 hours on this tractor since it's overhauled. But I changed them over probably close to a year ago. So get ready for the work this spring. I'm gonna change oil in it. Got a new hydraulic filter for it. Air filter should be good. I think he put a new one in when he overhauled it. That's what he normally does. But, but yeah, I'm gonna just show that I got the beast back. And you know, like I said, I put a lot of money in this tractor the last couple years, but I'll put the money in this tractor before I go buy anything new on the lot nowadays. So, if it wasn't for splitting it, it's all stuff I could fix on this tractor. But the only thing I really have to worry about, like I said, this tractor's got about 6,000 hours on it now. The only thing I really need to worry about is the torque amplifier. So... And that's gonna be a pain job if that ever needs to be changed. I mean, I guess you gotta drop the transmission right out of it, set it up on end, whole big process, but. 
But yeah, like I said, I'll just give a quick little update on this and show I finally got it back. And if the weather ever breaks, we'll maybe get some work done this spring. So we're supposed to get rain for the next week now. But, well, thanks for watching and catch you all later.